Hello everyone, welcome to today's vlogmas So today is one of those days where I'm gonna do absolutely nothing Which means I have no school, no work, no plans, no nothing I decided that it would be a very nice idea to just like vlog a cozy holiday day with me Or just like a cozy Christmas day since again, I have nothing to do I'm very excited for this video because I'm trying to make it as cute as possible or you know attempting to the little critters were supposed to have school today but since there was like a humongous storm last night they decided to cancel school so the critters are here also for breakfast i have some gingerbread cookies because i don't really eat a lot of breakfast anyways i want to get i wanted to get my morning started with opening up my advent calendar and today is day number eight no it's seven. Oh my gosh there's literally only six days till christmas that's crazy like where did time go my sock advent calendar Ooh, this looks interesting. Oh, they're little penguins. That's so cute. I got a little penguin. Well, it looks like I'm gonna be switching my socks today. I switched my socks. Anyways, these pajamas are from Sheen. I absolutely love them. Let me just do a quick like little stand up. I think more in the afternoon, I'm gonna go out because I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be baking something. We'll see how that turns out. It's gonna be my first time, so can't wait for that. Okay, so might as well show you what the elf did today And I think this is the funniest thing ever It says, hey girls, I ironed your chips because they were all crinkled Now you can enjoy them better And we got some ruffled chips And then <laughs> smooth chips That is like so funny, I love that Okay, so in a few hours, I'm actually going to go to Walmart To buy some things for my baking The ingredients I need And I just wanted to get ready I have this really cute Christmas sweater I got from Sheen And I'm gonna do something in my hair that I've been seeing like all over social media and I kind of wanted to try it out and I'm gonna like braid the side of my hair and like use ribbon and tie a bow it's gonna be a little harder with my hair because I do have layers but I'm gonna try my best because I just think it's the cutest thing ever and hopefully it turns out should it be this short of a piece then it'll be really short we'll try it we'll try it the braid is going on pretty good Ooh, I don't know what I'm doing honestly hmm let's cut this it doesn't look bad Okay, I'll come back when I have the second one ready. So I finished. This is the best I could do, honestly. And I think they're pretty cute, even though they're not perfect. I'm just going to leave it like this. And now I'm going to head off to Walmart. You know what? I'm actually kind of digging it. Like, they're super cute. Like, I just did it my own way, so I like how they came out. We'll see what happens. So I made it to Walmart, and I'm with this little critter here. I she had no school today. Here. Yeah, I made it, and now I'm going to get my baking ingredients, and yeah. Okay, this is how she drives the cart, and it's a little concerning. <laughs> Guys, if I would have been Amy, I would have just faked that I couldn't reach it because she was so nice. Oh my gosh, I love how this looks. This looks so, like, aesthetic. I don't know. And Kato, on the other hand, is, like, desperate for damaged hair. hair. Yeah, hair repair. Look, hair is smooth. So okay. I finished getting my ingredients, and here's a little preview. Now we're going to go home, and I'm going to bake. These look interesting. Like, I heard good things about this, but I also heard bad things about it. And usually you should take these if you're, like, on deficiency for this, which I'm not. So I'm going to leave that there. But I was actually very close to getting that because it looks very interesting. Okay, so, of course, I had to stop by and get a peppermint mocha frap. And I think in one of the other videos, we've already tried this one. And it's good. I'm not going to lie. I already tried it. But it does taste like peppermint and it does taste like a mocha. So, woo! But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to mention I got a Christmassy drink to keep my holiday day going. We got all the goods and we're gonna head back home. Okay, so I made it back home and I have all my ingredients here and I'm so excited to start. So basically, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm making a banana bread because I love banana bread, like, a lot. And I just decided that that was gonna be one of the first things I wanted to do. Like, I didn't want to make a normal cake or anything like that. I wanted to make a banana bread. And I'm doing it now because I have to refrigerate it for a few days. But before I begin, I wanted to show that I got these really pretty nails at Walmart. I just wanted to be festive and I wanted to put these on instead of these white ones because these white ones are getting pretty ugly so I wanted to change them. I also finished all my Starbucks. It was really good. So I have my two bowls. One is for the wet and dry ingredients. Then I have my cup measuring thing. Basically right now I'm actually baking my bananas in the oven because they're like this and supposedly they have to be ripe and they weren't ripe. They still even smell like newborn bananas. But then I have some brown sugar, all-purpose flour, 
baking soda, vanilla, cinnamon, and salt. Now, this is gonna be, again, my first time ever baking. Like, I've never baked before anything. It's probably not gonna come out perfect, and I probably don't have, like, the perfect ingredients, but I am gonna try my best, and however it comes out, it comes out. I mean, it's gonna be my first time. So anyways, yeah, I'm gonna wait for my banana to bake, and then when I take them out, I'll get started. Okay, I finished baking my bananas, and this is how they look like. They're, like, completely black. So I just hope they're ripe enough for the banana bread. I guess we can get started. So I'm gonna quickly like follow along with the recipe here. And yeah. So first off, I'm gonna start off with dry ingredients and I'm gonna be doing one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So I'm gonna put that in. Nope, that's in. Now I need one teaspoon of baking soda. We're gonna go ahead and do that. <gasps> one teaspoon of baking soda. I just need this much of salt. <gasps> oh my gosh. So a quarter teaspoon of salt goes there. Okay, and now I need three quarters of ground cinnamon. Oh my gosh. I think this is good. We have this for the dry mixture. Woo! So I've mixed the dry ingredients. Now it's time for the wet ingredients, which is a separate bowl. So I'm just gonna put this aside. So I'm gonna start mashing my ripe bananas. I'm gonna use a fork for that. Ew, why is it so soft? Oh, oh no! It exploded. No. Ew, they smell terrible too. Ew, look at that. That's so gross. Um, hopefully it works. Mash, mash, mash. Oh, wait, I have to add the other ones in. Oh, they smell terrible. I just hope this is worth it and it tastes good. Okay. Oh, no. It like completely went off the bowl. Ah, look at that. I mean, what else can I do? So I'm gonna keep on mixing my wet ingredients. This is so far how it looks like. Now I'm gonna pour in the melted butter that I melted like before this video. Yeah, it was just a long prop. Oh, that is a lot of butter. I need three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. I went to Walmart and every time I go to Walmart, there's never ripe bananas. They're always green and I just don't understand why. Like, it's so weird. So we're not in the black brown. Ooh! I need two lightly beaten eggs. I'm gonna beat my eggs in here. I got my two eggs. So I'm gonna put them in here. Woo! Pour my two eggs inside the mixture. I need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. This adds some flavor, a lot of the flavor actually. I'm gonna pour that in there. So now I'm supposed to mix everything and then I'm supposed to switch to a spatula, but I don't have a spatula. Hopefully this is good enough. I have to do a little bit at a time. Okay, here's my second batch. Hopefully this turns into a batter. It's turning into a batter. <gasps> it's starting to get thick. Although I don't like how unmushy the bananas are. But luckily, um, it, it could be a little chunky because I was like seeing the um, instructions or whatever and hers was still a little chunky. So I guess I could leave it like a little bit chunky. It's like this. It's not like that chunky. I mean, it is. Okay, so basically I don't have like much of a, what's that called? Pans or loaves or whatever. I am using this because this is all I have. And then I'm going to put this over it. because That's what the person was doing. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to pour my mixture into this. And if there's like extras, I'll just make them into cupcakes or something. Ooh. It's surprisingly not as much as I thought it would be. No! I did such a messy... Ah! Um, when the oven turns to 350, I will start my timer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, and my thing's wasting battery, so yeah. Look at this mess. So now it's time to clean all this up. So I finished with the banana bread and let me just say it smells so good but now I'm going to be wrapping some Christmas gifts to end off my day I want to do my mom so if you're watching this like skip this part yeah I'm just gonna wrap her gift and again this is also my first time wrapping gifts because it is my first time like giving gifts on Christmas since I was able to do that this year so I decided to buy everyone gifts and now I'm gonna wrap them okay so the angle is a little weird but I'm trying to wrap this gift and it's coming out so hideous. Like, what is this? I'm just gonna try my best here. Let me just tape it like that. 
Boom! <laughs> One wrapped gift. My camera is literally on top of my Crocs right now. But um, I am just going to try my best and... Oh, that's why... Bro, I forgot one step. I have to cut the access off. I haven't been doing that this whole time. Let me cut off the access. Don't judge my wrapping skills. I am very much new to this. Gosh, and look at how I wrapped this one. <laughs> okay. You know what? This is as good as it can get. Hey, let's go. I got one. Whoa, whoa. This is not a pretty sight. Okay, okay. You can see the front of this and not the back because the back looks... Bad. So I'm gonna wrap this now. Um, a little hint. It's not from Sheen. I measured it with my eyes, so hopefully it works well. And then pull this side, and voila, you got this. Let's go. This is not even that bad. I mean, if you look at it from this side, it's not that good. But then this side, it's pretty good. Oh, oh hooray! Okay, I am back. The battery ran out, but my gifts aren't in, in here. I put them all in one box. Wrapping whatever I was wrapping was the most difficult thing in the world. And stayed down. Well, I've already run out of three <laughs> wrapping paper. No, it's definitely this way. Okay. There you go. This should be better. And then we'll measure so we don't have to waste. We're doing good so far. It looks neat so far, I'm liking it. Okay, I'm gonna try doing this quick because my battery keeps running out. So let's do that, like that. Okay, that doesn't look bad at all. Improvement. This looks, this tape is built, no! I think I did pretty good. I am very happy that this turned out well. Here, just put it inward, and like this. I am so bad at this, but I know by next year, I will become a pro rapper. <gasps> there you go. Okay, so my camera ran out of battery, again, for like the fourth time. But I just wanted to show, <laughs> this is how it came out. The top is a little bit... What is it? What do you mean, what is it? <laughs> I put her name on it, yeah, oh, it says mommy. mom. Now, I, I took out my banana bread. It is finally ready. Oh my gosh, it's like wet. This is how it came out. I don't know if it's too early, but I'm desperate to try it. My mom really wants to try it too, so I'm excited for that. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That came out good. Now I have to flip it. Wait. That looks so... It smells so good. I'm gonna get a knife. It's all cut. I know this isn't how you cut banana bread, but like I said, it's my first time and everything, and I just can't wait. It's also very soft and warm, so. Now, I'm gonna taste test this, so I'm gonna grab this piece. Oh, you can see the banana. <laughs> I think it tastes pretty good. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. It tastes really good, Amy. Okay. I'm happy. First time doing banana bread, really good. It's disgustingly good. It's good. I think that is the end of today's holiday day or Christmas day, however you say it. Um, I also enjoyed baking. I hope to do it again soon. My battery's running out, so I will see you all in the next vlogmas. Bye. Bye.